Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Now I'm going to be doing something a little different in this video, it's going to be called creating spaces. Now, in this video I'm just going to be showing you guys how to create some spaces in your games, um, and even some of like the reasons behind why things go in certain places. And these are just some observations that I've made personally when creating spaces, um, and you know, just some, some nice things that I think work together well. So. The first thing, um, we'll start off, we're just going to be building a little, maybe like a house or something like that, a room, some sort of house. So what I like tend to do is I tend to just create a square like this, and this is just going to be the space that we're working in. And I, again, I'm not too familiar with how RPG Maker works, I don't spend too much time working on it, but the idea of this tutorial is just to create some spaces and show you guys how they can look after some time. So I'll tend to set up a basic room like this and I think this these two things look good together but what some people tend to do is they tend to take a, a tile that just doesn't work and they'll mix it with another tile and the room will just end up looking horrible so if some for instance if you did this you know you got this like dungeon cave area sort of thing down here and then you put this wooden floor in there it just doesn't work it, it doesn't look right for that sort of area you want to have stone floor or something that works well and typically contrasting colors will work better as well so you've got this yellow this bright yellow wooden floorboard with these white walls whereas down here you've got this um, this brighter white floor with these darker walls so contrasting colors tend to work a little better when creating spaces like this so just back to this room over here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some um, some dividing sections to it so I might do that make this like a kitchen area and you need to have a reason for making this. So this is going to be someone's house. They're going to have like a kitchen area and a living area over here. So in this kitchen area, I don't know if we have any kitchen sprites. Here we do. Let's just place some kitchen stuff down. Maybe they have a, a dish oven or something like that over here and a little bench. No, maybe not a bench. Maybe they have a table, a little table over there like that. Uh, what else have we got that we can use? Oh, here we go. Big furnace oven that can be their like cooking cooking area so they've got this big oven here and they have a little wooden table maybe a little wooden table in the middle no a pantry they have a pantry full of food which is a, a staple of, in many houses we'll put that pantry there that looks a little better I like that and we'll place the oven um, no they don't need an oven that that's good I like that as it is now so every room has a has a window so let's just add a window now the, the placement of this window, this is an important thing to think of, like you could place it here, you could place it here, you could place it there, but you have to think about the rest of the house, like typically when people are making uh, breakfast in their kitchen, there's often a window, and what I would do is I would place it here in the center of this uh, cooking area, just because typically in most houses that's where you would actually find the windows. Now that we've chosen a style of windows, we're going to need to replicate that out here, and symmetry is not always best. So a lot of people, they typically go like, okay, I'm just going to make it symmetrical. That looks okay, but symmetry is not always best. I like the rule of thirds where you have this sort of one third of the house doing one thing, and then you have this uh, this sort of third here does something a little different, and then you go back to your thirds over here. So it's like photography. If you were to overlay a grid over this, you would see that you have somewhat like a third over here doing something and then you have a third in the middle doing something different and then a third over here doing something even different again so because this is a living area let's give them a piano uh, I hate the way RPG Maker works with these sort of things I'm not too familiar with how to um, place tiles behind things so don't uh, stress too much about that I think what you need to do is you need to go new event and make that graphic the tile sets I believe that top right corner there like that and then you can place the window back on that map underneath it something like that and so when you play the game I'm not too sure guys you have to forgive me for this because I don't use RPG Maker as my main engine I only use it for creating simple maps for the games but I believe when you play this what will happen is that tile order will shift around and then you'll be able to see here so that works a lot better so now we've got this piano sort of area set up it's off to the side uh, they definitely need some something else they need something to sort of separate the room up a little bit let's give them some art 
They need some art. Everyone needs a little bit of art. Let's put some art. Mm. No. This art may not work because it's, um... Ah, perfect. A clock. So every house needs one clock. And typically, this is a good spot. You think about it. They're sitting in their house. They're playing piano. They've got a clock to the right because they've decorated their room a little bit. Something else you might find is a bookshelf. So if we were to create a bookshelf, like... I think that's probably not going to work. Um, put the bookshelf down here. And then what we'll do is we'll do the same thing we did. We'll just go back into our events and add that bookshelf on top of it. So it's just going to be the top left corner of the bookshelf, which is going to be this one. Just select OK on that. And I don't think we need to do that for the right corner. We can just place that down. Like this. So now we've sort of got a bit of a space evolving here. The one thing that's sort of missing is they have no surfaces and they have nothing in their house. But the space is starting to look uh, good. It's starting to look like someone actually lives here. So the next thing I would look for is maybe some flooring. So we could put some floors down. Typically people don't have carpet in their kitchen. Um, so it's probably a bad idea to put some carpet in there. But often you'll find some carpet in the hallways. So we can place some carpet there. And you'll often find carpet sort of in the center of rooms as well. So if we place some carpet there as well, that might look good. And sometimes people often have a different type of carpet in their hallways. Mm, we'll see how that looks. I don't particularly like that. Um, we may end up removing that. Try this green carpet. No, it's conflicting. Basically, we don't want anything to look conflicting. Now that yellow carpet does work quite well. That yellow carpet actually may work well here. It looks okay, but I don't think there's enough contrast now. So we'll just use this red carpet. I think the red carpet works best and the whole section, no, the whole section doesn't look right. It's about trial and error really. Let's have a look how this carpet looks if we did this. So we're, we're using up this as a, we're using this space up and we're basically defining different areas, whoops, different areas of floor. No, I don't like that. I think we'll just stick with the carpet in the living room because I think that looks best. So let's have a look what else we can place in this house. We don't want to overcrowd the house either, we just want to make it look like it's been lived in. Ah, here's a good one. So this is definitely a good one. Some people, they might have a sort of chimney on their wall, like this. So we'll put that there, so they've got like a little fire area where they have their fires. We could have used that for some art, but I think this is probably a better use for it. Uh, what else can we have? We could have this... No, the paintings didn't work too well. We tried that before. Uh, typically, maybe they have some storage barrels in their kitchen. So we can just put some some barrels down like that. No, maybe over here in the corner they're using this as a bit of a storage area in the corner for some of their stuff where they keep some maybe some fresh fruit, some produce and things like that for their cooking. Because we're assuming that these people, they're living uh, in a time not, they're living in a, an olden time sort of time, so maybe they don't have fresh running water, so they have a bucket of water near their kitchen, like that. Something else that we could add to this, let's have a look, what else do we have here? So there's not too much you can do with space in the center of a room, because you don't actually have much to work with in terms of uh, sprites, because everything is top down uh, looking, so you could, you could put a bed, you know, maybe they have a bed, but th that doesn't actually look so right because you know no one has a bed in the middle of their lounge room um, unless you're awesome and you just like to watch TV in bed then good for you but most people don't have a bed in um, in their lounge room so let's have a look what else we can have here they've got some um, ah here we go that that we could do we could do with that um, maybe they have some like their suits of armor uh, over here on the side of their room a couple of different suits it's a family so you know, this is where they keep their armory. And maybe this hat stand. No, the hat stand doesn't work because you're thinking about it in terms of height. If the hat stand is the same height as the armory over here on the right-hand side, it just looks a little bit weird. Oops. I think we'll keep the carpet. We'll make the carpet go down like this. So sort of an entrance way to the house. Or an area sort of entrance. Uh, is there anything else we can do to make this look any better? Let's have a look. 
like I said, guys, I'm not really the best best mapper in the world. I, it's all about spending time and refining it. So you spend a bit more time and refine these things, and it will start to look. It'll start to come together, basically. Here we go. We could put this uh, sack of stuff over here, just the top one. Make it look like it's just coming out from behind that wall there. We don't want any rubble or anything like that in the house because that's just going to make it look a bit tacky. Um, we could do is we could put some some books over here on a little table, make it look like they have some extra space, you know, for their study area. Place a little seat in front of that so that that's where they sit to study. And basically, yeah, so this is starting to look like a really good space. This could be the interior of a house um, for some sort of RPG game or something like that. But, you know, I just thought I'd show you guys my process into creating a space. And I'm not going to speed this video up because everyone speeds these videos up and then, you know, you don't really get any, any benefit from it. So this is the commentary behind the reasoning of why I place things in certain areas. So, and again, typically I wouldn't play this in RPG Maker. I would export this out double it up and use it in Game Maker in terms of size so that the pixels are a little bit bigger because personally I prefer the double up pixel approach where everything, every single pixel is actually two pixels um, it just looks a little bit zoomed up a little bit um, I'm just going to have a look if there's anything else that we could add to this um, to be honest I don't think so, I think this is probably as good as it's uh, going to get we could add this little stove in here, no it looks a bit weird take that out Looks a bit weird there as well. They might have a um, if they if I could find a sprite for it, like a bench, a bench in the kitchen maybe. This is all just um, <laughs> they haven't they could have an altar <laughs> in the middle of their lounge room. No, I'm just kidding. We'll take that out. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's a bench in this spray in this uh, RTP default set that I'm aware of. No, it doesn't look, that's a wall. Yeah, so there doesn't look like there's any benches. Oh, one thing that they could have is maybe they have, um, you know, if this was a rich person's house, you could have, like, a stream inside their house like that. You know, you could have, like, a, a zen area, but I'm not going to do that. I think that looks a little tacky. This is supposed to be, like, a poor, not a poor, but maybe a medium well-off person inside an RPG game, but like I said, this is just to show you guys the process of how I make maps. It's been about 10 minutes since I created this, created this map, and I think it looks pretty good for it for a 10 minute map so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel if you like this video also like the video and um thank you for watching so goodbye guys guys